Hi Oilers, I'm Luke Wagner, and welcome to this week's episode, Campus Update. Tis the season for some basketball. We sent out Josie to interview our team for this week's episode of Oilers Sports. I've been playing since around like, I think third grade, in like a little kids league and loved it ever since. Well, I joined NJB in about third grade, which is like the kids league that used to be here at Huntington. My favorite part of basketball is the games, definitely. Friday night games, playing in front of the crowd and being with my teammates. Our next game is on January 5th. It's a league opener at Newport Harbor High School. I think our team's going to win. Uh, we have really good team chemistry and nice players on our team, and we bond really well. So far, we're 1-3 in, in our Ocean View tournament, and I think it doesn't really represent our season. I think we got a lot coming, and we're going we're gonna to kill it. It's always good to see success out on the court, and also in life. That's why we went to showcase some successful HBHS alumni and their fashionable creations. What's happening? My name is uh, Casey Wheat, founder and creative director of Sport of Kings Forever Young, Sophie. We sell t-shirts, fleece, hats, beanies, jackets, board shorts, walk shorts, pants, pretty much the essential everyday California lifestyle apparel. How would I describe the brand? An authentic premium surf brand. We always focus on the fabric fit function of each capsule that we design. How did I come up with the idea for Soak Fee? Well, I was doing lessons, surf lessons three years ago and I wanted to do a business card for, uh, for surf lessons and I thought Sport of Kings forever young. And as we were designing the business card, you know, the light bulb went off in my head. This would be a perfect name for, uh, for a cool surf brand. And uh, the rest is history from there. I have a teacher that particularly stands out in my mind from uh, Huntington High, which was uh, Mr. Daly. A good piece of advice that he gave me one time was to uh, follow my dreams and my passions. And, um, and if you make that into some type of business or some type of work, then you won't really feel like you're working. And I followed his advice and uh, I thank him for it daily actually. Mr. Daly, no pun intended. We've been here since June of 2017, so we're going on about five, five months or so. To me and Casey, it's really successful just because of how much fun we're having. We still get to surf, we get to close the shop in the design studio if the waves are pumping. So I mean, that's uh, definitely very successful in that sense. After all that shopping, you're going to grab some seasonal snacks. So I went to scope out some scrumptious sustenance. Stay seated and see while I show and share. Hey Oilers, do you like food in the holidays? Well, I've compiled a list of all sorts of Christmas themed foods in Huntington Beach. If you're looking for an assortment of Christmas pastries, the Great Dane Bakery has you covered. With a wide variety of desserts ranging from sugar cookies, frosted cookies, and gingerbread cookies, the Great Dane Bakery is a must for some seasonal treats. Bubba Sweet specializes in award-winning gourmet cupcakes. Their seasonal menu includes gingerbread cupcakes, red velvet holy grail cupcakes, and an assortment of holiday treats. Bubba Sweet's diverse selection of snacks should definitely be checked out. If you're looking to satisfy your seasonal sweet tooth, these shops may become essential parts of your winter break. Man, that segment made me hungry. I could really go for a club sandwich right now. You know, I order club sandwiches all the time, and I'm not even a member. There's over 100 clubs on campus, so here's a quick rundown of less than 10% of them that we like to call Club Rush. Key Club is basically an organization in the community where we helped out those that live in it. Uh, we are a branch of Kiwanis and we are the lower division, which is a high school division. Friday Night Live is a leadership club that promotes positive living, substance free. Some of our events are Red Ribbon Week and Prom Prevention. We meet every Tuesday at lunch in 833. We spread the love and good vibes to our community and help out all the students to go to our school and in the community to have the best experience they can. We also have cookies and popcorn, so come to A25 and join Bridges. The Amnesty International is a club where we promote human rights and we fight global injustice. Our current campaign is raising donations for the victims of the civil war currently occurring in Yemen. Okay, welcome to Spanish Club. We are creating a really fun family community where we have lots of food and we're helping other Latin countries that are in need, so come join our club. Thank you. Yeah. It's always nice to see our fellow students doing good things in the community. If you want to do your part this holiday season, Drake has the scoop on how you can help. The season of giving is upon us. If you'd like to help others this holiday season, here's how. Step 1. Find a cause. Which causes impact you? Which causes would you want to support? Step 2. Do your research. You want to know how your money is being used. 
how much money is being spent on the cause that you want to support versus the salaries of the administrators. And step three, spread the love. Consider donating to various charities because small contributions will add up and ensure that the causes you want to support are well accounted for. With those few easy steps, you can make a difference this December in no time. Just remember to have a budget and donate whatever you can afford. If you cannot, or rather not, donate money, consider giving something much more valuable, your time and services. There are many organizations that would greatly appreciate any willing volunteers. So remember, Oilers, it is the season of giving, so consider giving back this December. Happy holidays, everyone, and now, back to the studio. This is the season of giving, and in that spirit, Max and Will have once again documented their campus wanderings, spreading holiday cheer in this very special edition of... Talk. Christmas is coming. Ow! Why? Christmas is coming up, so for this time on Hull Talk, we're gonna be giving out presents. Yo, Oilers, it's your boy Will here. You don't need to say yo, okay, Oilers, yeah, we already it. started. So I bought presents for Max to give out, and Max bought presents for me to give out. We don't know so what they are yet. This will be great! It probably won't. Excuse me, sir, you look like a good boy. Would you like a present from uh, the Hall Talk Santa Claus? That's me. You got a gingerbread with missing legs. I know that's what you've always wanted. Jeez. No, don't grab the mic. I don't know where I'm going. This is the most boring walk ever. I don't know why you're still filming. Hey, Mr. DeWild. What do I get? You get this. Just what I always wanted. You can use it for a piece probably of wood nothing. with a nail in it. This is just for you. It... Are you trying to say something? Don't follow us. Oh, stop. Stop. No. No, we got... got a little grab bag here. Reach inside. And you have. Oh! Oh! Okay, just take it. Just take it. I got you your very own really, really tiny cabinet. Play with dolls? No. Oh, you're a neon, sir. Come here. You're on campus update. Would you have you been good this year? Um, yeah. One sec, I gotta drink my red liquid. Okay. This is a pin. Oh, I don't lovely. know what it says. I love but... it. Oh, it's a Beatles pin. They fuel my um, my addiction. Uh, it's my strange addiction. It's uh, it's to wearing neon clothing. I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, dad. The house flooded this weekend, and you know they took my heelys from me. It was a hacky sack. Leg. There you go. You um, it's string. Are those Shrek earrings? Donkey. Got you a, a G-Shock tin. How do you feel about this present, sir? I like it. Have you been the good this year? No. <laughs> what would you like for Christmas? Uh, I think a, 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 a new skateboard. A new skateboard? Yeah. Well, it just so happens that I have the next best thing, which is flashcards. Put it in your mouth then. If it's so clean, put it in. Eternal We're not ending the segment until you put torment. the... <laughs> Back to you at the studio. Have a great last week of 2017, Oilers. And remember, new year, new me.